Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I would like to show you how to set up the auto source switching on your device. So what we have to do is go to menu and head over to system. And here you will see the auto source switching. So select this option. And here you can determine to switch this functionality on. Now you can set it on preset input or new input. So what I will do now is I will select preset input and here you can change the sources. So for example, the primary source recovery I want to have switched on, which will mean whenever I plug anything into my device, such as an HDMI cable or a USB stick and I remove it, it will go back to my primary or my secondary source. So in this case, I will have my secondary source set to HDMI 1 and if there is no input in HDMI 1, it will go back to the primary source, which will be Magic Info. So the device will scan which source it has to take. Now this is one way of changing this setting onto your device, and there's also a possibility to do this on the server. So I'm currently signed in into my Magic Info account, and if I head over to device, open the information box, go to edit, head over to display control, click on view more, and if you scroll down quite a bit, you will see the auto source switching functionality. Now you can currently see that it has been set to the same settings as I set it to on my device, which is correct because if, it, if I change any settings on my device and it is connected to the server, it will also be visible right here on the server. So you can also change the sources right here or you can do it on the device. Both ways are possible. Please make sure to turn the restore primary source on and the auto source switching has to be on as well. Now in addition to that we also advise you to switch on the auto power on and the network standby because with the auto power on your device will switch back on automatically after it's lost its power and with the network standby switched on you will be able to reach your device at all times. So if it's switched off, you will be able to switch it back on from the server remotely without having to go to the device physically again. And this is how to enable the auto source switching. Thanks for watching.